Hello, second graders. I am going to read aloud a story to you today called Choosing a Pet. And I want to remind you that the purpose of me reading this story is for you to listen to what fluent reading sounds like. And then today, I also want you to pay attention to self-correction. If I read a word that does not make sense, I would stop and reread the word again. Um, good readers, when we are reading something and we get to a word that might not make sense, we want to stop and look at that word again because we may have misread it. Okay, so again, today's story is choosing a pet. Owning a pet is lots of fun, but it is also a lot of work. Pet owners have to care for their animals every day. Depending on the kind of pet you have, that can be a big job. When you choose what kind of pet to own, it is important to know what care it will need. Some pets need more attention than others. For example, you will not have to take a fish for a walk. You will not have to teach it to sit or to use a litter box. You will need to clean its tank. Find out about a pet's needs and habits before you make your decision. How about a dog or a cat? These are by far the two most popular pets. People have lived with dogs and cats for thousands of years. Cats and dogs are both mammals. Mammals make milk to feed their babies. They have hair or fur and they breathe air. Mice, rabbits, and guinea pigs are mammals. People are mammals too. A mammal is easier to cuddle than a fish or a snake. Some dogs and cats are very hairy. If your pet has long fur, you will need to brush its coat with a special comb or brush. If your pet likes to be combed, your job will be easy. If your pet doesn't like to be combed, good luck. A ladder of puppies, hmm, hold on a second. Ladder doesn't quite make sense here, so I'm gonna look at the word again and see if I misread it. A litter, okay, so litter of puppies makes more sense because a litter is a group of puppies that are born together. So I'm gonna start reading again. A litter of puppies or kittens is a batch that is born together. Most dogs and cats have between four and six puppies or kittens in a litter, but that number could be more or less than that. The kittens in a litter might look the same or different. If you are lucky, you might be able to choose the one in the litter you like best. After the puppy or kitten has stayed with, with its mother for at least eight weeks, it is ready to go to its new home. It is ready to eat canned or dried food. It is ready to be trained and to do all the things a good dog or cat should do. Training your pet will take lots of time and patience. Dogs usually can be trained to do more things than cats, but that does not mean they are smarter. Dogs and cats have some bad habits. A puppy often chews on shoes or other things. This is because the dog's teeth are coming in and chewing feels good. Give your puppy a bone to chew on instead. A cat may scratch the couch or carpet. The cat's claws are very sharp. Give the cat its own special place to scratch. You can find a cat scratching post at the pet store. If you have a dog, you will have to take him for a walk. With a leash clipped to his collar, the puppy will learn to follow along as you walk and stop when you stop. Not many cats enjoy going for a walk on a leash, but you can always try it. All right, thank you second graders. We'll see you later.